Guys, we're up here at Sheep Mountain where we do our level three mountain course. We're gonna talk about wind today. When you're using a Revic product, there's two ways to manage your wind solution, base wind and vector wind. So we relocated and I moved down the mountainside a little bit. We've got a, a longer shot now uh, with a little bit different wind. So this one's gonna require that we use vector wind. Vector wind is where you're gonna input the direction and speed. You're not just taking a left to right wind from nine o'clock or a right to left wind from three o'clock. You're putting the actual direction in, the actual speed, and that's gonna allow the Ballista computer to add in spin drift, Coriolis, and aerodynamic jump, which is the vertical component of wind. So you're gonna get really a totally different solution than if you were to just use base wind. Base wind is great for that closer range, quick scenario, but longer ranges, more complex shooting in complex winds, vector wind is required in that type of scenario. And that's the kind of scenario that I set up today. So what we've got set up here is an elk target at around 980 yards. I'm gonna laze that target, not only get the range, but I'm gonna hold up my actual wind meter and get a good wind speed and input that exact wind into my ballistic range finder. It's gonna give me a solution, and then it's gonna give me a wind hold solution with all of those effects included, a spin drift Coriolis and aero jump because I put that vector to the correct direction the wind is coming from. Now it can add or subtract uh, those effects into my ballistic solution and my wind solution. So if this were a true hunt scenario, the first thing I do is I'd probably laze the target itself and then I'll bust out my wind meter so that I, I know I have a target to shoot at. Let's get the wind, input it. Um, but the key here is you have to input the wind and then laze your target a second time because now it is adding those into your ballistic solution and your wind solution. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and laze that target. So I got 982 dialed to 914, and you're gonna see the full effect right here. It's gonna show arrow jump. I'm gonna go up to 914, okay? Now I'm gonna get my wind speed. We got a left to right, basically a nine o'clock wind. So I'm gonna hold this up. I'm getting anywhere from seven to 12 mile an hour winds. So let's call it an average of 10. So I'm gonna input that vector in here now, put it to the nine o'clock, lock it in, and then dial my wind up to 10 mile an hour. Now when I go to 982, it's telling me to dial to 930. So I'm gonna come up a couple clicks there. So that's huge because that was arrow jump that was inputted as well. So it not only you know gave me a wind solution, but it told me to bring my elevation up based off of a left to right wind, which would push the bullet down. So let's look at our wind hold real quick. If I had a base wind, if I just left my base wind, it said hold two minutes. But since I put it to the left at 10 mile an hour, it's actually telling me to hold left five minutes. So that's adding Coriolis and spin drift into the equation as well. So the difference of three minutes, three minutes at almost a thousand yards is 30 inches. That's the difference in my wind hold here. So it's super important that I'm using vector wind in a scenario like this. So I'm gonna jump down on this gun, hold that five minutes left, and let's see where we impact. All right, just like that, it's a much more complex uh, scenario, longer distance, a little bit higher wind. It takes a sophisticated solution, which would be your vector wind. Okay, so I inputted the actual direction, the actual speed. It gave me Coriolis, spin drift, and aero jump all combined to give me not only the right elevation solution, but the right wind hold with a five minute left hold. Great shot. If I would only held two using the base wind mode at that point, probably would have been a gut shot. So that was a great scenario to show you the reason why we would use vector wind in a long range shot, a little bit higher wind, more complex scenario. If you want to learn more about base wind, check out our other video. If you like this demonstration and you want more information, you should come out to Long Range University level one, level two, or level three, where we come up into the mountains and shoot these high angles, high wind scenarios, or visit us at gunworks.com.